Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Fseed. So uh, in this short video I want to say a few words about uh, the latest update of uh, Admin LD class version. Uh, the product now supports uh, continuous integration flow um, uh, using render deployment platform. And uh, also there is a small improvement um, regarding the database management uh, in case um, the database credentials for MySQL or Postgre are wrong or just the driver is not installed, um, the application silently fall back to, to SQLite. So uh, just to um, uh, make this uh, video useful, I will uh, fork the project and uh, deploy the application on render using only uh, visual commands. Okay, so uh, for newcomers, the project is um, is open source. So is released under the MIT license, which means uh, the sources uh, can be incorporated in uh, commercial projects or simply used for e-learning activities. Okay, I will, uh, as I said before, I will uh, for the project. Okay, and just choose here. Um, a new name. Once the sources are um, are forked and uh, generated by uh, GitHub, uh, we need to edit a single line, which is uh, this render.eiml. This file uh, basically automates the, the deployment on render, and um, in order to have a unique name, we need to update this uh, this field. To match the the name of the repository. Once the uh, this change, small change is saved, I will um, uh, go here to render and um, create a new blueprint. Okay. Now, um, render platform accepts the request, <coughs> analyzes the code base, and the product should be pushed uh, into their infrastructure for uh, live deployment. This uh, the process uh, should not take more than one or two minutes uh, because the application it's uh, it's super minimal. Comes with uh, only with authentication. The UI is fully integrated. Um, uh, SQLI uh, database is used in this context, but we can easily switch uh, on render and also in our local environment uh, to MySQL or Postgre or any other database supported by um, SQL Alchemy library. Okay, let's uh, click on this link and uh, we can check out the um, compilation logs provided by render. Once the application is up and running and the, the build is completed, uh, th this uh, um, the application will be live or using this address. Um, might be important to, to mention that the render is a Heroku-like um, deployment platform um, that comes with a decent pricing and they have a lot of uh, options. Um, supports continuous integration, uh, you can just um, uh, push um, uh, repositories from GitHub and uh, you are good to go in case the, uh, of course, the application is stable and um, uh, the deployment uh, can be completed successfully. Okay, so at this point uh, the deployment is flagged as, is flagged as successful. We can see here this, um, uh, this message in the, in the CLI. And uh, let's um, access the application using uh, browser. So, the application is up and running. Let's uh, try to authenticate. We can see that uh, um, there is no uh, there is no user. I will create a test user right away. I will choose a dummy password and registered user. Now the user was created and uh, we can authenticate. So, cool. 
application works. We have a database. The, the UI is super nice. The admin LT is well known um, dashboard template which is open source and free and it's actively supported by an impressive uh, uh, community so guys this is the product let us know what you think in case anyone have issues feel free to um, access the support link uh, that is also listed uh, on AppSet homepage this is the link um, use these coordinates to get in touch with us uh, send us an email using the support at uh, appsit.us or simply join discord Discord server where we uh, assist the community uh, one to one. Thanks for watching again. Adrian here from Mapsid, and uh, in all cases, um, let us know what you think about the product, uh, the modules we should add to the to this simple cut base, and uh, of course, if anyone uh, anyone uh, wants to contribute and uh, improve the product, uh, the contribution are welcomed. Thank you guys, and uh, as always, I wish you all a super, super day. Bye.